Hello and welcome to this Dell EMC storage technical video. In this video we'll demonstrate zero downtime application data mobility with Volume Advisor and Live Migrate. Volume Advisor recommendations are based on thresholds and so we'll start the process by creating or defining a threshold within Dell Storage Manager. We'll click on Threshold Alerts and then choose Create Threshold Definition. We'll give it a name of Volume Latency and the alert object type is going to be on a volume and the alert definition is going to be based on latency. We'll set the threshold at 11 milliseconds of latency. We'll also enable the ability for Volume Advisor to choose a destination storage center for us. Now we'll choose the volumes on the storage center which we want to apply this new threshold to. I'll choose a single volume in this case. We can see that our new threshold definition has been created and it has been applied to a single volume on Storage Center SC12. Sometime later in DSM, we can see that the threshold alert has been raised. If we double click on the alert and choose the alerts tab, we can see the alert is based on the latency definition which we created in the previous step. The current latency value on this volume where our application is running is at 19 milliseconds, which violates the 11 millisecond threshold which we created. We can verify this by drilling down at the actual volume which the alert fired on, and we can validate that the latency is indeed historically now well over 11 milliseconds. Likewise, we can look at our application on the volume and see that latency has exceeded our threshold value. Back in DSM, we'll right click on the threshold alert and choose Recommend Storage Center. At this point, Volume Advisor will present to us a list of storage centers in which we can migrate the volume to. In this case, it's recommending that we live migrate volume LM2 to Storage Center SC13. So we'll click on the, li the link to begin the live migrate process. We choose the replication attributes. In this case, we'll replicate via fiber channel. We'll choose the QoS definition if we need to throttle replication fabric utilization. And then we'll ensure that our storage host running the application is mapped uniformly to SC13, which is the destination storage center. If we take a look at our application, we can see that it remains up and running. It still is able to send read and write I.O. to SC12, the original storage center, while the live migrate process is instantiated. Once the new volume has been created on the destination system and the paths have been added, a rescan on the storage host is required so that it picks up the additional paths. This will also allow the seamless migration of the application once we perform the role swap in a later step. In this case, our application is running inside of a VM on a vSphere host, so we'll go to the vSphere host or cluster and perform a storage rescan on the fabric to pick up the additional paths. Now for this live migration process, we chose to automatically perform a role swap once the replication of the data has been completed. If we fast forward and look at the application, once the automatic roll swap has been performed, we can see that the latency issue has been mitigated already and we're back under one millisecond. The roll swap is complete and we're actually ready to complete the final step of the live migrate, which is to right click and perform the completion step. During the completion step, the paths from our storage host back to the source storage center, SC12, are removed. The source volume will remain and it can be deleted later. We can also see that our application still has well under five milliseconds of latency to the SC13 destination storage center, which it is now running on. 
We can also take a look at the performance and latency values of our application after it's been migrated within Dell Storage Manager. If we click on the charting tab and drill down under SC13 in the volumes folder, we should be able to see the current IOPS and latency values. And those are within acceptable tolerances. Now because the last step of our live migration process was completed and the paths were removed, we can safely delete that source volume. We'll simply right click on the volume, choose delete, and in this case, we'll skip the recycle bin and permanently delete the volume. That concludes this video demonstration. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, please visit dell.com forward slash storage resources.